Yay! You came back. You went to the video. Now you're here. Here, right here. <laughs> we have some more rhinestone bracelets. This one has... This is part two, by the way. This one's pretty. This one's not missing anything. I have my container. I'm going to put it in there. The one with the... Aurora Borealis and Cognac color beads. I mean, champagne color ones. Or Cognac colored ones. Are not missing any. Now we have three. Tied together. Two are Aurora Borealis. The one is clear. And all the crystals are there. Rhinestones crystals. See if we can see it better without the light shining on it. Very blingy. I have a stretchy bracelet here. Which I'm not going to stretch. Pearl. Faux pearl. Very nice though. It's in good condition. Ouch. This actually looks like somebody took the stone out. It doesn't look like somebody saying, Ah, help me! It could have been a turtle if it had a stone on it. No. It was somebody just took the stone out and the prongs are left open. That's a bummer. wonder what kind of stone was in there. It's not a 14 karat chain or anything, so... I have no idea why they would take the stone out. But maybe I can find a stone to go in that. This, which I think is... I wanted to see what it was. I couldn't wait. Looks different. Oh, maybe that's two pieces. Yeah. Okay. This one. Oh, that's another piece that doesn't go there. <laughs> Still interesting. <laughs> okay. It has uh, seed beads up here. It goes into a Y. These are stone. Uh, I'm having a cigarette. Sorry if it bothers you. I actually I don't know if they're stones. Black on one side, white on the other. So man-made stones, maybe. They feel like stone. And they're heavy. So this is a very interesting necklace. Eclectic, uh, maybe boho. You think it's boho-ish? <laughs> boho-ish. Put that in the container. This, wow, is very pretty. Oh, it has a clown. Uh, oh, it's broken. It had two, two pieces, two strands to it. Oh, it's going to be easy fix. You see, I just have to hook this back on. Oh, well, they broke off. Oh, no, maybe you don't. I don't know. Wait, let's <laughs> put the clown. Oh, I took it back to this hook right here. Let's see if I can do it right now. This still doesn't make any sense why it's separated. <laughs> it's open enough. Come on, I want to see what it looks like. Okay, and I'll hook it into the... There's two separate necklaces here. Hook it into the box clasp. Come on. And maybe this doesn't go together. It's actually getting stuck. Okay, well it went in. But then you got two necklaces. I guess you could go like this. There it goes. But I have never seen two necklaces that are apart like that. And only come together with the clasp. It's like they're meant to be. Like a married couple. This is their wedding right here. That is a pretty necklace though. These are plastic. But look at the details on the beads. It's a beautiful one. I would wear this easy peasy. I like it. And I I like the puzzle that I had to do to get it, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> it was a puzzle. A conundrum. I don't know what a conundrum is. I don't even know if that's the right word for what I'm saying. I have one of these in gold. A gold tone one. This one's silver tone. It's got rhinestones galore. It's I think it's the exact same key, but only in silver instead of gold. Wow. It's pretty. It's really bright. You can't really see it. There you go. I think. Oh, that's the back. <laughs> well, you get the picture pretty. This was also stuck to that one. This is an anklet. This looks sterling. It says 95 right there on the clasp here. It looks sterling. I think it's got to be an anklet. Yeah. 
an anklet or if somebody has a really big wrist some people do it's a nice bracelet it's got a a very interesting link it's not an s link but look how pretty that is i'm gonna keep that over here so it can be tested these are plastic crystals stretch bracelet <laughs> stretch it a little bit <laughs> don't break okay <laughs> Alright, this is what I thought was the bolo tie. But it's not. It is cording. It has a lobster clasp. It's got cord and it's got angel wings. That's it. So you can just wear the wings. Something else might have been here. I don't know. Maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. So you got angel wings. This cord is beautiful. Here's a uh, very... Oh, this is the tiara. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. <laughs> okay. My cigarette went out, so. This is not supposed to be on there, I don't think. Let's take this off. Okay. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's for a kid. It's got a comb, so it'll stand. But this will fit me. <laughs> for sure it will fit me. I can wear it around the house and be princess. Or queen. Queen of the house. This part's bad though you see that i'm gonna have to paint that or put some more crystals on it to make it blingier you know some of those aurora borealis pieces i can cut the rhinestone like maybe three rhinestone pieces to fit here glue it glue it glue it because i got three of those that would work that is pretty i'm gonna wear it tonight and see if mark notices <laughs> he was so sweet he, he had to work graveyard and always it works graveyard and uh i asked him to call to see if there was a jar and he did and he re he went down to get it which is awesome he's so awesome to me he takes care of me takes me everywhere because i don't drive and uh he's just perfect husband these, I love these. These are like one of my favorite hair accessories ever. I don't know how I got away, got along without them when I was a teenager and stuff. I wish they were around. They probably were. I just didn't see them. It's kind of bent out of shape. But anyway, this. You put this side, you put your hair up, you put this side in, your hair like that, and then you stretch it, and you pull your hair like that and it tightens and it goes right around your hair and it's gorgeous and it holds your hair perfect mine <laughs> oh the butterflies are prettier than i imagined oh so for this one he's a trimming his little antenna or something broke oh they're different colors okay i like this one i think this one's got orange yellow green they do flutter, see? But see this wire here? It's got to be trimmed. And it's just a regular hair clip. Isn't that cute? But see, Monet makes a uh, butterfly necklace like this. So I thought maybe that's what... Or brooch. I thought that was that. And the other one is the pink and blue. See, I like pink, but I like that other one better than this one. And this wing's kind of messed up. I think... Oh, right here, you gotta. I got to fix it right there. You see right there? It's bent wrong. I'll fix it. This one, I'll, I'll probably keep both. But I am for sure loving this one. The colors are a lot better than this. What do you guys think? You like the pink colors or the yellows? Or the oranges, I mean. I never liked orange growing up. I thought it was a very, you know, just not a color for me. But I love orange as an adult. Especially since I've been doing... Uh, jewelry jars. Okay, this has got a broken strand here, so I'm going to hold on to it and hope that's good enough. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can tie these two together real quick. The two broken pieces. Give me one second. That way they don't lose any more beads, which I hope are in the jar. Actually, I'll probably just cut those two strings off. That one string off, I mean. It doesn't need it. There's so many here. I think it's supposed to untwine all the way. But I'd have to take it apart to do it. I mean, take the clasp off. 
It is a nice necklace. It's small, 16 inches maybe. It's got a barrel clasp, nice caps they put on here. They did a beautiful job, and the black with gold is just perfect. So that needs some work. So over here. And I was right. This is a Betty Boop. Ah, I got her. I, see, I like it when I guess something right. I thought it, at first, you know, it was one of those things that comes apart. But no. Betty Boop. And, and it was oh, a belt buckle. <laughs> She's cool. It's not in bad shape. The back needs a little help, but hopefully I can get a couple dollars for her. I like Betty Boop, but I'm not a super fan. Oh, I saw a pink butterfly like this one. See, this for sure is the butterfly jar. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's connected to this one. <laughs> Come on, let go. Let go. Why do these things do that? The one I liked with the tennis racket is tangled onto this piece. Oh, the tennis racket's not part of this piece. Okay, there was two pieces. Okay, so there are the butterflies. They're plastic. They could be lucite. They look kind of old. I don't know if you can adjust it. This is a... Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look anywhere big enough to wear his neck. Oh! I broke it. I thought it was going to stretch open. Well, I would do something with the cute butterflies. They would make cute earrings. You think it would work having one yellow and one red? As earrings? You guys let me know, okay? Say, no, Tina, that would not work. It would look ugly. Or, yes, Tina, that would work. Very eclectic. Oh, you know, I've lived in California. I was born in California. Long Beach, actually. And uh, I have never been to Catalina. Never. I'm saying that because I have a Catalina keyring or something. This is missing a lot of pink jewels. But I love it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully they're on the bottom of the jar. Fix over there. Oh. Here is another stretch bracelet. Oh, it's missing a strand, I think. Look, it's got another... It's got an extra hole up here. So yeah, a strand is missing. So I can sell this. They're not going to want it with that extra piece hanging over. I mean, I guess I could cut it. No, because then the stones would be off. I don't have this color bead. Pearl. It's green. It is pretty, though, with that rhinestone part. Here's another spike piece. I get a lot of spikes in my jars. Different. This one's different than the ones I usually get. I usually get bracelets. I have gotten a necklace, I think. Tangle, tangle. Yeah, the cigarette keeps going out because I'm not puffing on it, so I will wait. Oh, here's the clasp. Okay, so that's the start. Then you gotta do the little shimmy shake to see if it will undo itself, and no, it does not. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. We have a place out here called Paco's Tacos. They make such good taquitos. With this really runny uh, guacamole. Mark hates it. He hates the guacamole. But they have another guacamole that's thick. And they sell it. I mean they put it on a different type of thing. that looks like a taquito. But it's not a taquito. I don't know Mexican food very good. So it's something else. Frada. Frada or something. Okay well this isn't going to untangle. It's apparently. I don't want to waste too much of your guys' time trying to do this. We're at 14 minutes. I think this comes apart. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe I got it. I got part of it. Okay. Close enough. There we go. This is close enough. It's got four chains. Two with spikes. One with pearls and spikes. The other one with spikes. And then it has regular chain. This is kind of cool. It would look really good. I, I pictured this as a biker necklace. <laughs> biker chick type of thing. I would love it. I would have loved to have been a biker chick when I was a teenager. Or a young adult. I would have loved it. But I got married at uh, 20. 
So yeah, there it is. I had just graduated college. And uh, I want to untangle that all the way so I can see what it looks like. Oh, I still got stuff here. And Mark, I met Mark. We went to junior high school and high school together. This one doesn't have a mark. I was hoping it had a, a name on it or something. I like the little tennis racket. I think it's cool. It's just a tennis racket necklace by itself. 16 inch chain. Kind of small. But if you bought it, you could just put it on a larger chain. It's cute. Put that in the jar. I do not think that was gold. This is a heart, so if I can get it, I think a ceramic heart, or, uh, China, it could be China, it could be porcelain, it's got that touch to it that I can't stand, oh, it says Natalie, that is beautiful, it's from Paris, it looks like, it is gorgeous, and this chain just glistens, like crazy. I wonder if the chain is gold. This is in really good condition. Where's my magnet? Now it sticks a little bit. But this is whatever it is. It's It keeps it shine because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous chain. If your name's Natalie and you spell it N-A-T-A-L-I-E. I got a heart here with your name on it. Literally. <laughs> here is a nice pierced earring. Which has those pull backs that I like. Because you can't lose those. I lost the earring back at, at work once. I was a temporary worker. I worked Thomas Temp. So I went to different places for weeks at a time. Anyway, my earring broke. My earring back got lost. And I used an eraser. It works perfect. Here is a, I'm ho I'm guessing it's an earring, but you could put the chain on there and make it just a pendant if you wish to. I don't know. It's up to you. But I'm going to put it with the earrings. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, there's pink dust in there. I like pink. It's like fairy dust, but it's in a ball. I wonder if it opens. I wonder if I could take it out and put something else in there. What do you guys, look at that. Pink little crystal fairy dust. And some metal balls. Metal squares. It's really tiny. So I'm guessing it's for a child. But I won't put this in the kids lot. I will sell this separately. Not for much, but it's cute. So yeah. Oh, here's another. I think this is also a kid's necklace. Somebody made. Says. Just. Jessenia. Jessenia, I think. J E S S E N I A. Jessenia. And it's got all these beads on it. So this will go on the kids' lot. <coughs> That's a very unique name. But they could take it apart and use the beat use the you know, the letters for something else. Maybe spell Jess or Spell something. They can spell something. Kids are smart these days and every day, actually. This is a cross necklace. I had a cross necklace once where some of the crosses were upside down. And I hated that. So I took the upside down ones and I put them right side up. But these are all are right side up. So that's good. Here we go. Up here and you got two crosses. I thought it was just bad. And then you got a cross there. A cross on this side. And then the very bottom is that oh it's got a knot at the very bottom you have another rhinestone cross oh it's got rhinestones on both sides very cool all of them do this one's missing some oh no they're just dirty yeah I have to clean it look at that ew so this is going to get cleaned and get put in my religious slot this is that earring I told you that most of the time they get ruined this one's not in that bad a shape, actually, for having an earring going through it and being in a jewelry jar. It's not that bad, but a lot of the time they have a picture on it, which is really pretty. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Maybe they paint the picture on after they finish. 
This one, the lobster clasp is holding the jump ring that is supposed to go to the other side. So, let's see if we can find the other side. And see if it's fixable. Yeah, it's fixable. Okay, it's not going to... It's going to... I have to take it, you know, untwine it and stuff. But you get the idea. It's three layers. We have white beat with the rondelle here. We have these gold ones with the texture that feels like sandpaper. We have these faceted ones. Oh, it's kind of like the first ones. But it is a pretty, pretty necklace. And it would be prettier once it is... Oh, and then there's these besides the white ones. We have the gold uh, bead, kind of skinny bead, flattened bead with the rondelle and the, another flattened bead. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. Put that over there to untangle. More stuff out. You know, I, I just did my nails in the blue. <coughs> I like the pink. I like the purple. I do not like the blue. I don't know. Maybe it's just not my color. I don't know. This is what I thought when around a watch. You know, if you take the back of a watch off, they usually have one of these. That, uh, and then the mechanisms right here. The little ticking things. Yeah, so I think that's what this is. I'm not sure. But if there's no watch here with the back missing, I'm just going to toss it. These are Heshi beads, which is a good thing. I think Heshi beads also, the puka shells and stuff. But these are real Heshi beads and puka shell. These are beautiful. This is a nice surfer necklace. Or a boho necklace for a guy. Or a girl. It could be either or. Unisex. I guess that's what they call it. A guy or a girl can wear it. I think a guy should be able to wear whatever he wants. If he wants to wear a diamond necklace, let him wear a diamond necklace. There are some drag queens that I wish, wish, wish I knew how to do my makeup like they do. They are gorgeous. I watch uh, RuPaul's Drag Race a lot. I did. It doesn't really record anymore. I hear Mark watching it, or I heard him watching it once, and I was like, man, it didn't record in mine. This is a, a chunk of Mother of Pearl in a cage-like thing. That is gorgeous. I've never seen a chunk of Mother of Pearl. I think it's Mother of Pearl. Or it's a Pearl Pearl. Could it be a Pearl? Could this have been a special thing? And the chain says 18 karat gold plated. Uh, right there. Can you see it? 18 karat gold plate. So this is white gold most likely. So this might mean that this part's white gold. But I'm guessing that would be sterling. I'm going to test it and find out if that is a shell, I mean a mother of pearl, or if it's a pearl. Because they have pearls that are big like that. Yeah, I know I have stuff out here, but I keep looking in the drawer. This is beautiful, but it doesn't have anything on the back. I think it was a brooch at one time. So I could turn it back into a brooch, or I can just use it in one of my sun catchers, which I think I will, because it is beautiful. It would make a nice earring, too, if it, like, had a wire hook right here. Or even a post right there. And just hung on your ear. That's pretty. If there's two of them, then I'll make earrings out of them. This is just a black cord with nothing on it. It's a nice one. Looks brand new. So I'll put that over there. Ooh, there is a ring. Oh, wow, I love it. I hope it fits me. It's not adjustable, which is bad. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. No, but it goes halfway. Look at that ring. Now that looks good with the nail polish. But it's copper. It's in excellent shape. I don't know if there's a sticker here. Maybe there was a price tag or something. There's a sticker right there. But look at the stones. These look like real turquoise. I'm not sure... They're not cold, though, so I guess not. But it is really hot out here. But that looks good even with, like, a knuckle ring. Because it goes right where the knuckle is. Actually, I would like to put it right there. Nah, it's too short there. <laughs> Let me see where it would go on my middle finger. Nah, it covers the nail. But it is a beautiful ring. 
pinky it would go on but it's too loose <laughs> so ring finger it is at least for now the dolphin ring I still have on and this one is mine ooh juicy couture wow look at that how big that sucker is it's not in good shape maybe once I clean it I use the denture tablets and then it's got two hearts here it's got a white rhinestone one which has miss one missing stone wait no one two three three at least three missing stones and then it has a pink one a smaller one which i love which doesn't look like it's missing any then it has this really big heart here it says juicy couture how do you get your keys on does it unscrew or something oh this opens like that okay there we go see that opening you just put your keys on here open this is super heavy i thought they said you shouldn't have heavy things on your key because it could uh damage the drive shaft thingy or other thing <laughs> i don't know <laughs> did you think i knew what i was talking about <laughs> okay this is just too chunky this will probably be scrapped it's also got this wire stuck through it. Maybe I'll cut the the wire. There's a lot of wire. Okay, that one came off. This one's internal, so maybe it's part of this one. Or not. Maybe it's just a loose piece of wire. I mean, fishing line. Okay, anyway, here's the clasp. And this is not rainbow, like I thought. And it hooks like that. I mean, look at how small your neck would have to be. It, your neck would have to be like five inches thick to be able to wear a lot of bonus hair. I don't know who could wear this. This is kind of... Maybe it opens up more. This white part looks broken. Huh. You could just wear it like this, you know. Put the white one behind your neck like a puka. Yeah, these, this one feels like puka shells. I don't know what all these stones are, but I was guessing dyed highlight, but they are stone. I just don't know what stones. This one's pretty. If you guys know, this one's pretty too. They're all pretty. This one looks like a cat eye or a mother of pearl. I love the pink. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and see if I can find anything. Too bad there's not a maker on it. But yeah, I would not wear it the way they want me want you to wear it. I would use this white one as the neck piece. But there's still why is this white here? I have no idea. <laughs> Another puzzle for me to figure out. Oh, I still have stuff. Gee, I keep forgetting. Oh, this is broke because there's little yellow beads going all over the table. Okay, it's only coming off of this side, I think. So I'll try to tie a not in it. Hopefully that will stop it. Stretchy. It was a stretchy ring that I did not break this time. Wasn't me. Hopefully that's good enough. These are really pretty yellow beads though. They're glass. They're cold. There's some on the table. Oh, just picked I see I have a I don't have it here. So see I have a baggie, but forget it. I don't have it out here. Here's a necklace cloud I mean the sun just went behind the clouds for a minute or so oh there's one broke right here <coughs> so but I, if I took the rest of this one off and took that one off you know by cutting it then this part would look okay because it would just be even I don't know what this is though it's it feels plastic but it doesn't feel plastic this is the hook clasp that it has it's a ten made artisan made clasp. I don't know what this is. Could be some kind of wood or uh I have no idea. I have I'm <laughs> I have no idea. Oh here's the cat eye one that I said was really stretched out and it is. I oh, want somebody put a safety pin on it to keep it from unraveling, I guess. Oh no that's not yeah, there's a safety pin on it. So this was a stretch bracelet at one time. So let's get all the beads at the bottom. So you can see it. 
it is a beautiful color. But look at how much string is left. Yeah, it's really stretched out. So this is going to be taken apart. And it, oh, it has safety pins in it as spacers. That's kind of cool. See the, you see the spacers? Those are all safety pins. That's a neat pattern. So I'll put that over here so I can hopefully fix it. <coughs> <coughs> a lot of fishing line stuff again over here. I don't know why it's under the stuff I already looked at. Something has fishing line crazy going on. Oh, it's already 30 minutes. This is a mess to untangle. I'm not going to be able to do it. But here's a necklace. Not on camera. This is a nice one. These are plastic. And look at these little propeller ones. They just twirl around. They look like propellers. Or boat engine paddle things. It's very... Oh, someone has the beads I thought were sterling. Yeah, I don't think they're sterling. They're plastic. <laughs> but it's a nice necklace. Now, oh, and this is probably what the fishing line is on. Or, no, probably these. I don't know. I will get this one done. If there's anything spectacular, I will show you, of course. Yellow beads, yellow beads. Oh, there's only one flower so far. This is a cool artisan-made brooch. It looks artisan-made anyway. But it's, oops, it's an awesome, I think it's awesome. It's like, uh, pay attention to my hand. Like a hypnotism type of thing. And there's the back. It's nice. What else do I have out here to show you? Oh, saw the back of this, you remember? It's missing all of its little stones except for this, uh, peach colored one. It's a hair tie. That hair tie has seen better days. Okay, everything else you've seen here. So, I'm going to stop here. And we still have a lot. So, hopefully... Uh, let me grab these earrings real quick. That I thought were a pair. And yes, they are. There's no name, right? Of course not. Why can't you guys put your names on things? Anyway, here's the front. Here's the back. It's a clip-on earring. Maybe it's like the Red Cross type of thing. It's not a perfect square. It kind of bows in. It's nice. I like it. The back, yeah. It's a very pretty set pair. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I will see you on the next video. So go to the next video. Alright, bye-bye. Oh, thumbs up, okay? Alright, thanks.